Pennine Acute Hospitals Trust runs four hospitals, the Royal Oldham Hospital, Fairfield General Hospital, Rochdale Infirmary and North Manchester General Hospital. We offer outpatient maternity services at all four of our hospitals and we offer inpatient maternity services at North Manchester General Hospital and the Royal Oldham Hospital. The Royal Oldham Hospital is situated on the A671 Rochdale Road between Royton and Oldham. To find the hospital using a satnav, please enter the postcode OL12JH. Ladies who live in the Rochdale and Oldham areas will be offered antenatal care within their locality and may go to the hospital for booking, scans or to see the obstetrician. They may also need to go to the antenatal day unit if any problems are experienced. When you arrive at the Royal Oldham Hospital, you will enter via entrance A. As you come through the doors, there is a signpost giving directions to the ward areas that you will need. The maternity services are based on the first floor, with the exception of the postnatal ward, which is based on the second floor. You will first come to ward F3, the antenatal clinic. This is also the place where you may have scans. At the antenatal clinic, you will be invited to attend for a booking appointment. However, this may be done in the community setting with your community midwife. On arrival at antenatal clinic, you will be asked to book in at reception so that we can ensure we have the correct information on the maternity system regarding where you live and your telephone number. This information will be checked on each visit as your personal details may change prior to your giving birth. At your first appointment you will be taken to a consultation room where some blood tests may be taken. We will ask for your consent to this and any other investigations following a discussion with you and your partner. Time will be given with the midwife to discuss your pregnancy and any problems that may have occurred prior to your pregnancy. This is a personal consultation, however we do welcome your partner or relative to be present during this time, so that if they have any questions or problems, these can be answered. We are here to help and support you throughout your pregnancy and beyond. During your visit at antenatal clinic, you may need a scan. Our sonographers are based in antenatal clinic and talk to the midwives and doctors on a daily basis concerning your care. You may have an early booking scan or dating scan which is between 11 and 14 weeks and then you will be offered a further scan at 20 weeks. These are the two scans we offer in normal pregnancy. Further scans are only required if there appears to be a problem and this will be organised by a consultant. There is an interpreter service available should this be required and usually pre-booked prior to your attendance for both clinic appointments and scan visits. Following your booking and scans at the antenatal clinic, you may not have any further appointments at the hospital during your pregnancy. However, if any problems occur, you may be asked to attend the antenatal day assessment unit. The unit is staffed by midwives who will undertake a full antenatal examination, including blood pressure, and may even put you on a monitor to monitor your baby's heart rate. You will be seen by your doctor and a plan of care will be discussed with you. You may be invited back for further assessments or you may go back to the care of the community midwifery team. If problems occur, you may need admitting to the antenatal ward. This is a 24 bedded ward with some single rooms which have ensuite facilities. Ladies who are admitted to the ward may have raised blood pressure, diabetes, placenta previa or other pregnancy complications that require review and daily monitoring by the obstetric team. This is also where you may attend for induction of labour if necessary. The facilities enable your partner to be with you from the majority of your day. We offer a hospitality service where a menu will be discussed and you can choose what you would like to eat. 
The four bedded rooms also have an ensuite facility. Each bed has an integral television, music service and telephone. When you are seen by your midwife at 36 weeks, she will assess whether you are suitable for low risk care at the birth centre, where you will come when you are in labour. The birth centre has five rooms, three of which have pools. The midwife supporting you in the birth centre will talk through the different equipment we have and advise you on the best positions to adopt in order to encourage a positive birth experience for you and your baby. The slings can be used to support you and make you more comfortable in different birthing positions. They can also help baby move into position ready for birth. The balls are there to help you relax and also adopt different positions. The birthing pools are suitable for use once you are established in labour and allow you to adopt different positions and to relax. We do welcome partners to join you in the pool if you wish. The pool encourages relaxation so that your endorphin levels during labour are elevated. This can minimise pain and help you manage your labour more effectively. The lighting can be adjusted to help with your relaxation and you can also bring your room music to play. At 36 weeks your community midwife may advise you that you are suitable for birth on the labour ward. The midwife will show you a room which is equipped with everything you need for you and your baby. It has ensuite facilities with a shower and a toilet to give you and your partner privacy. The rooms have equipment similar to the birth centre to encourage active labour. If your pregnancy is high risk, a monitor may be used to listen to your baby's heart rate in labour. This does not restrict you to the bed and you will be encouraged by the midwives to adopt different positions. Please feel free to move around the room and make this your own space. The midwife or your birth partner can support you in labour and you will be encouraged to use the equipment provided. The wall mounted steel bars are very useful and help you if you feel that you want to squat or rock your baby into position ready for birth. Alternatively you may use the birthing balls which helps to rotate your baby's position and support you during labour. We encourage you to adopt the position where you feel most comfortable. Pain relief options such as gas and air and epidurals are available should you need them. Following the birth of your baby you may be transferred to the postnatal ward which is situated on the second floor. This is a 29 bedded ward with both single bedded rooms and four bedded rooms. Whilst on the ward we help to ensure your baby's safety by fitting them with an electronic tag. If this becomes displaced or removed, staff will be alerted and the doors to the ward will lock. You will be given support with feeding and the general care of your new baby. We do encourage siblings and birth partners to visit during the day. However, we do have a strict visiting policy due to infection control and also to give you some time to rest. We have a breastfeeding room available to use if you would like privacy feeding your baby or expressing milk. The infant feeding team on the postnatal ward are available to assist with breastfeeding support and advice. The midwife will assess you and your baby on a daily basis and discuss your healthcare needs following delivery. Discharge home is when you feel comfortable caring for your baby. If at any point your baby needs some extra support, it may be transferred to the neonatal unit. It is a 38 bedded unit with both high dependency and low dependency cots. It can be a place where you may feel overwhelmed as there is a lot of equipment, especially in the neonatal intensive care section. Staff are trained to care for babies needing extra support However, we do encourage parents to be involved as much as possible throughout their baby's stay. You may find yourself spending many hours here. There are comfortable areas with facilities available. Many investigations are completed on the unit by the neonatologists. 
they are specialised to carry out these investigations at the point of care. Your baby may be in the neonatal unit for several weeks. Please feel free to visit 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We encourage you to touch and handle your baby as soon as possible to help you bond with your baby. If your baby is extremely poorly and you live some distance away, we have overnight stay rooms for parents. These are close to the unit and have ensuite and tea and coffee making facilities. Thank you for spending time watching our tour. We hope it has given you insight to the Pennine Acute Hospitals NHS Trust Maternity Services for families in Oldham and Rochdale. Music